Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the App Podcast. Today we're going to take a look at Easy Find, which is a neat little search engine user or whatever you want to call it because it's not a search engine in itself, but it uses all of the popular uh, search out there. Um, so, you know, when you go to in Safari or any other web browser and you do a Google search and you have to sort through the results to find what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for an image and you really just want to go to Flickr uh, really quick or one of these other websites. Um, you can use a shortcut which every time you launch it shows you a different shortcut or you can hit next and it gives you a couple that it has already added. You can of course add a site. It's going to go out and connect right now and find other um, websites that it already is built into. Uh, so we've got um, Search engines, uh, entertainment and video websites, reference, finance, news, social networking, and shopping. Um, so I can go and add uh, YouTube in here if I would like. And now it's added YouTube with the shortcut of YT. So if we go back here and we do a search for, let's go to Flickr actually. Uh, so we've got FLI and it says found shortcut for Flickr. And then let's do a... Uh, search for pizza and now rather than it going to Google or whatever and, and giving us the options for pizza it goes straight to Flickr and finds us pictures of pizza and then we can choose from those images uh, and look at them so let's open up a uh, one of the images and it's going to do that I'm on a 3G so bear with me so we've got our picture here and I can click on that or whatever, view the rest of the page, including this one just happens to have a recipe too, and comments, which is great. I can open this in Safari if I'd like. If I open it in Safari, it opens it straight to this page where I could bookmark it, send it to a friend, email, whatever, uh, all the typical Safari functions. Um, that is not in this app because it's not the purpose of this app. The purpose of this app is to get you to the content that you want fast. And then, of course, you can use the other features that are built into the uh, iPhone or your iPod Touch um, to get you, uh, you know, a little bit of usability. But this app helps you find stuff fast. That's why it's called Easy Find, because uh, obviously, as you can see, it helps you find stuff quickly. No messing around. Less keystrokes and swipes and taps and all that stuff to get to what you need. So uh, Easy Find definitely does a good job of that. So check out this app. Go to our website, theapppodcast.com. Do a search for Easy Find. And underneath the video, you see a link that has the price and where you can download this app. By clicking on that link, you could download this app. It will take you straight to iTunes uh, where you can download it. And by clicking on the link on our website, it helps support our podcast. Uh, you can also leave a comment underneath that on our website and uh, tell others what you think about this app and give it a rating as well, one through five stars. And uh, that helps other people decide whether or not they wanna buy this app. So after they've watched the video, They've read reviews that you guys have written or comments and uh, seen the star ratings, then it will help them better decide whether or not to purchase this app. So definitely check that out and uh, see Easy Find on our website. Take care and we'll see you next time on the App Podcast.